Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the new Wi-Fi enabled Kindle from Amazon. This episode specifically, we're going to show you how to manage collections of titles using the Kindle interface. So if you're a big reader, there's a good chance that you'll soon amass a whole list of titles on this. We have three pages on this particular Kindle, and we're just getting started here. So you may need a better method of organizing these titles. In the beginning, the Kindle didn't offer much of a way to organize your titles. Now, you actually have the ability to add collections. So now if I want to organize all my James Rollins titles into a single collection so that all I have to do is click through to that and there all of those books are, rather than wading through this entire list, what I can do is I can click Menu, go down, create a new collection. It'll ask me to enter a collection name. I'll type R-O-L-L-I-N-S. Go down and click Save and it'll create a collection called Rollins. Now at the moment it has a zero beside it because there's nothing in it. So to add titles to it, we'll actually click through to it. We'll see there's no items. The first time you create a collection, it'll, it'll list no items, but click to add items to this collection. So we're going to click through there. Go down until we find items that we want to put into this collection, and you'll want to highlight it with this little bar below the item in question. Then you'll click it, and it'll add it to the collection in question. So we're going to add a couple here and then go back to the home screen. And you'll notice we now have two items listed in that. And it takes those particular items out of the list here. So if we want to add more to it, we can want to add this one, for example, Black Order. We'll go back up to the top, click on that. And now you notice the thing that says Add Titles to this collection is gone. So in this case, we'll hit Menu. Go down to Add Remove Items, and we'll get the same dialog we got at the very beginning. So now we can go through. We'll notice the ones that are already there, and they have check marks beside them. We're going to continue down until we find the other ones that we want to add, and add them all. And again, we can use the page controls to go through to other pages of uh, titles that we have on here, and we don't have any more. And then when we're done, we can scroll down to the very bottom of the page and click Done. So now we have a list of five titles in here in our Rollins collection. We go back to the main page and we list Rollins and it has five in brackets because there's five. So you can create as many of these collections as you want on here. So you can click one for sci-fi, you can do one for romance, whatever. You can make as many collections as you like. Now if you're in your list and you want to remove one of these items, say you don't want to read it anymore, you can go to Add Remove Items go down to the item in question, and now you'll notice instead it says remove from this collection. So I'll take it out by clicking on it again, and it'll remove it. So you notice the check mark disappears and it's no longer in the collection, and the brackets here say four instead of five. We're going to add it back in though, because we want that in the collection. So if we added one by mistake, for example, Street Gang, which is about Sesame Street and is not a thriller at all, and now it's in the collection, we want to remove it, we'll actually click it again and take it out. So if we're back on the home screen, again, we can click, click through to the collection in question. We have a few other things we can adjust about this as well. So we're going to hit Menu. We can actually go down and rename it. So if we want to call it something else like Thriller, say, for example, we want to put other titles in here besides our James Rollins titles, then we can change it to Thriller, click down and click Save. Now we can put all our thrillers here instead of just James Rollins. The other thing we can do here while we're inside the collection itself is we can hit Menu, and we can go down and hit Delete Collection. Now what we'll do when we delete the collection is we'll delete this particular collection. It's like a playlist, but it won't actually delete them from our Kindle. So it'll actually just put them back into the main list of titles here. So we can still read them. We're not actually deleting the titles inside the collection. We're just deleting the playlist that says what's actually in that particular collection. So that's a look at how to create and manage a collection of titles on your Wi-Fi enabled Amazon Kindle. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you other ways to interact with your Kindle. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this as well as the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.